respect of the owners, management, or advertisers of Pacific Telestations, Inc. This message has been brought to you by the stations of KUAM. You're watching Buzz with Jess Luha. Good evening, Guam. I'm Jess Lujan. Welcome to this episode of The Buzz. We're on the pitch tonight, and we're talking, of course, uh, soccer. We're talking FIFA Soccer World Cup Qualifier 2018 in Russia. It's going to happen here in Guam. We have none other than the president of the Guam Football Association, Mr. Richard Lai, and we also have team captain for the Matau, that's the men's national uh, football team, we have uh, Jason Cunliffe. I was ready to call you Randy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I think this morning radio was calling you Randy all morning, right? But yeah, uh, yeah. that's your dad anyway. No but, problem. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But gentlemen, welcome and congratulations. It's coming. It is happening. R R Richard, you know, I, I think it was about a year ago or so, you said, my dream is to do this. Well, your dream is finally is coming to fruition. Tell us about this. <laughs> well, as I said, it's, it's a dream that I had it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Can't do it without the Guam Football Association Executive Board mm -hmm. and our dedicated national team players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. The whole thing came together because we have a vision. Mm -hmm. uh, although we are the one of the smallest country in the world, mm -hmm. we used to rank number one from the bottom. <laughs> our 200. We started the other end, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, you have to be number one either way, you know, one time or the other. We were number one at the bottom about, at yeah. that time yeah. when FIFA had 206 countries. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We were at 206, I, I would say, a good eight to nine or even 10 years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No chance to move up because as your football improved, mm -hmm. other countries' football also improved. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's almost like swimming against the water in the river against the current. Mm -hmm. uh, very good that 10 years ago. We have a lot of young people like Jason, and then plus a whole bunch of youngsters that who believe football, mm -hmm. believe in Guam, believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Then I start bringing in international coaches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we look at it this way. At, at that 12, 10, 12 years ago, forget all the old guys. They're too old to teach them new tricks. <laughs> Let's focus on the young one, that who can really build themselves up like an international mm -hmm. player. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't an easy journey. Mm -hmm. We did it. We moved our ranking slowly mm -hmm. and slowly. Uh, but in the last three years, uh, our, I would say, six international mm -hmm. match we mm -hmm. go, mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. least we win half dozen, mm -hmm. half mm -hmm. of them. And sure. then and we beat country like Taiwan with 26 mm -hmm. million mm -hmm. people. Uh, we, we lose to Hong Kong with 8 million people mm -hmm. by no more than one goal. Mm -hmm. And remember 10 years ago when we first ever start mm -hmm. playing with them, we lose to them 15, 16 goals. You know, one of the things I, I, I like, and, and, and when, when, I, when I look at the, the setup of, of GFA, right, because, uh, yes, you saw, um, you know, Jason kind of grew up in the sport out here, also went off island, get more training, his schooling and things of that, uh, that nature, and played collegiate and some professional ball as, as well. And when, when you look at, at, at the Guam model right now, you know, you have, you have, uh, you have uh, actually players that you pull up, like, like from your minor league, from your minor teams to pulling up to, again to your to your national teams and and that's how it's developed because when, when you look at even um, like baseball for example right they have also minor leagues the double a AA and triple a's that, that they pull their teams off right when when people get recruited to to play uh, um, major league a lot of times they don't make it right to you know to to the big leagues they, they make it either double a or triple a de depending so when there when there's a, a gap here or there's a need hey look we're gonna grab you from here and that's what's happening now in, in, in GFA. You're, you're, you're getting from your, you know, again, from your feeder, from your feeder organization, from your feeder, your academies and all that. So whatever you're doing is working. Well, <laughs> thanks to all the players yeah. that who we developed mm -hmm. when they were young, mm -hmm. and they believe that it, the only way they can improve themselves mm -hmm. is continue education in the United States mm -hmm. and play for college football. Sure. And uh, a good dozen of them, like Jason, mm -hmm. AJ Dalagaza, uh, Ryan Guy, your son, mm -hmm. uh, all finish college and continue play in professional. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and as the team getting stronger and stronger, mm -hmm. the confidence of come back and we're presenting Guam uh, become mm -hmm. a sense of pride and it's, it's become a sense of give back to the community mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. let our younger generation understand if I can do it, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can do it. Mm -hmm. and, and Richard and, 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 and Jason, look at this. I mean, uh, you know, you can't say that you, you, you guys have not had, uh, I mean, this is a World Cup qualifier, first ever, okay? 
but uh, uh, Mattel actually has had quite a few already international exposure, international playtime. The unfortunate thing is a lot of your games are away, away right. games, off, off island. We were fortunate enough last year to watch the, you know, the, the games out here, which you guys were victorious, uh, you know, the, the Mattel team. But uh, w when you look at the play now, I mean, we're looking at uh, Turkmenistan, your, your first, uh, your first uh, rival, basically, right. and then India the, fo the following week. When you look at Turkmenistan, they got a population about 5.2 million. India the following week, about 1.2 billion. <laughs> you know, Guam, 160,000, you know. Right. In, in, years, in years past, right, we'll say, ah, Guam, really? As Richard said, we were always number one in the bottom. But that's no longer the case. What type of game do you expect from Turkmenistan? I mean, you, I'm sure you guys, like, like any professional team, you guys study the clips, you know the players, you know the style of play, and it, it looks like every, either every jurisdiction, every, every, every country has a different type of play. What are you expecting from your first game in Turkmenistan? Uh, Turkmenistan will definitely be a more European-style football, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, definitely more aggressive as a, compared to Asian teams, which mm -hmm. uh, don't like contact, but these guys close to Russia, the relationship with them, mm -hmm. they're definitely going to be physical, uh, you know, fast, and they're going to like to move the ball quickly on the floor. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a, a great matchup for us. Our guys are very athletic, mm -hmm. um, technically very sound, and I think, you know, we've come accustomed, accustomed to, to being the underdogs, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's, it's <laughs> no sweat off of our, uh, mm -hmm. our back, so to speak, so we're ready to bring it to them, and hopefully with the crowd out there giving us that... Uh, home support, we can really, really show mm -hmm. them what Guam's all about. Now, when, when you talk about, okay, European type type play versus Guam, that how would you, how would you, again, uh, again, analyze Guam team? Are, are we more technical players? What are we, uh, what kind of players are we, the Guam team? Because again, we have a lot of collegiate players. You're, you were, you were a collegiate player, professional player as well, and you also play league g game as well. So when, when you combine the talents and uh, again, we're, you know, because we, we got, we got players that are playing either either in the US or in Europe or, or so, somewhere else so when you combine that different kind of play what will you what will you consider Guam players to be what kind of ball do they play I'm um, actually you know it's it's quite a, a good mix that we have because mm -hmm. American football is definitely considered uh, very physical very mm -hmm, athletic mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but we have some very very technical players and I think it's uh, it's gonna play very well into our favor mm -hmm. um, we like to keep the ball possession based uh, and it's most teams don't expect it from us considering our mm -hmm. our history. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So I think uh, we're going to catch you know mm -hmm. some of these guys by some of these teams by surprise for sure. Well, you know, I, again, uh, I, I keep tabs with you guys when you when you're even playing off, off island. That again, they at first you're the underdogs, and then they write about you guys all the time. It's because, my gosh, wait a minute, 160,000. <laughs> Where do they get their players? You know, and, and all that, and and 1.2 billion. Five million, you know, right. <laughs> and, and and we have some, some strong players. So, what do you attribute then this to? Because you know the GFA has been working on this, but when when you look at the success, right? I mean, I know Richard's been at this for quite some time now, quite some time. But when you look at this and putting all this formula together, and it looks like the formula he's put together so far has been working. So, right. so they say well, if it's working, don't change the things, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. How, Again, the attributing the success to Guam team, what do you attribute that to again? That's a culmination of uh, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, trial and error, but uh, definitely um, getting more experience mm -hmm. as international matches are, mm -hmm. are a beast of their own. Mm -hmm. um, so as the years have gone on, we've gotten more matches. And all, uh, really a big part of it is belief, you mm -hmm. know, believing mm -hmm. in each other, believing in the system. Mm -hmm. um, the gaffer coming along and it's instilling in us, mm -hmm. you know, go out there and win. Don't sit back. Mm -hmm. Don't expect to just keep the score down and keep the game close. You know, take mm -hmm. it to these teams. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's definitely what we've done since he's come in. And you, you add that to the, the start of the new National Academy mm -hmm. and uh, getting these teams out here and the, the introduction mm -hmm. of the cultural emphasis mm -hmm. within the team. It's really brought us together and, and making us quite a, uh, a team to take against. Now, now let, let me ask you this and, and think about this and we'll talk about it when we, we get back from the break. Because you guys are all over the world. <laughs> you guys are all over the world, right? You guys are bringing people in from, I mean, your, your national team together, they're, they're starting to come in now, okay? Now, how do you get together to, to, to mesh, to come together as, as a team and to know what to play and to know how to, to pe speak to each other? Because, you know, a lot of times it takes a while to, right. to, to mesh and to understand and, and to know how Jason is feeling tonight. I mean, if I'm going to know you and feel it, I'm going to know, oh, Jason's man is edgy tonight. You know, he's not on his game or he is on his game or things like that. 
you know, how do you get that? And, and uh, you know, when do you, do you guys have that established already? Do you know each other already? Because you're going to have to. Right. You're, you're going to have Absolutely. to. You're, you're going to have to know that. And being, again, that you guys are coming in for, from, from distances from all over the, this, this globe pretty much. Tell us again what uh, you know, what that team, you know, how you guys come together to mesh to be able to communicate, and uh, and once that you know what on the pitch there, you know, to go on for success and to get to where you're at right now. But think about it. We're gonna take a quick break, pay some bills right now. Okay, okay. be right back. <laughs> 